<clears throat> just take it from the top and <laughs> yo we back in the building again welcome 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 hey how's it going uh we back in the building uh randall pink here with cincy local and live here at local and live studios Cincy local and live the cincinnati times I'm Lana Bennett, the unorthodox kid, the swellest kid you dig, and I say fuck the other kids, my nigga. Ooh, yeah. coming off strong, man. Nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, boom. All right. Yeah. So, so, tell them a little bit about yourself. Let's 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 start with uh, where are you from? I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Nice. So, where at in Columbus, Ohio? Uh, North Side. I grew up on Summit Street and 26th Avenue. Nice. Well, tell them a little bit about what you what you got going on. You're an artist. Um, I'm an artist. I make I call it dark pop music and rap. I got I got some slow jams, a little bit R and B. I kind of mix the genres together in all honesty. Slow jams and R and B. Yeah. Mixed and together. pop, bro. And pop. That's my shit. <laughs> so so mix the combination for me. If you let's let's talk about artists. If you was gonna mix a combination. What would the conversation? Ooh. See, I'm more of a voices type of person. Like you can be told to say anything, you know what I'm saying? So like I feel like a person's voice really makes or break the song. So it honestly something I'd want to hear is Doja Cat mixed with J. Cole. Oof. I think that would Oof. I just think the voice How what direction do you think that would go with? Do you think of more of a J. Cole vibe? Or more of a Doja Cat vibe, like, or do you think they would mesh? I feel like they would mash them together because, in all honesty, they're both pretty versatile mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So I feel like they could, I you know, see that. both their sounds could come together at some point. I feel like J Cole's kind of been quiet lately, and Doja Cat has been on the other side of that as far as been in everyone's. <sighs> she got some shit going on. She's got some boy. shit going on. So I'm kind I'm of wondering, <laughs> as far as a music side, of how that would go. Well, see. Because it kind of both in two different stages of their life right now, I feel like. Yeah, J. Cole's about to retire. Like, he said that a few couple of years ago. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But I, I dig that. And with that being said, I feel like that's kind of what your music, because like you were saying, you you have this, uh, which I was looking for that genre that you just named. Can you name it again? What is it? Wait, which one? Dark Pop? Dark Pop. Dark that's what you're going with? Uh, yeah. Because that kind of is like a trap rap mixed with pop. For the most part. Yeah. You know, you know? Yeah. But I see, we see you trickling in. What was that song um, that you had where it was more of a hip hop song? Um, talk about that. The, the poppy song. Um, what was it? Uh, my raps, I have fuck you. I have, it was that one. No, it was I have the fuck other. you, no cap. No. I think those are only two raps. Oh, no, uh, what was the other one on there? Um, what, to die for. To die for. To die for. Uh, oof. Oof, that. I fucking love that song. That's what I'm saying <laughs> over here. <laughs> that's yeah, that's my dark pop. That was actually one of the first. Well, that's actually the second well, song I made in that genre. Yeah, yeah, that's how you will categorize that. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I called it dark pop because like I'm talking about killing somebody, but in a fun way. On, the, on that way. particular, on that particular song. Yeah. So uh, that sounds. <laughs> that like, song's uh, about murder. Uh, Randall Pink production. <laughs> yes, which we had talked about. Uh, does that song need a video? Yes, I was actually planning on getting it taken care of the next couple of weeks, honestly. I was oh, just talking about that. Shit, we definitely need to link. If you're looking for a videographer type of thing, I'd like to run some ideas from you because that song kind of definitely got the visuals going in my brain. Yeah. A little bit. So, yeah. We can chop it up about it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right on. Cool. So what kind of brought you towards this um, artist, like getting into the making music and stuff like that? In all honesty, I grew up around it. I mean, my mom, she had like a little gospel rap group <laughs> when I was growing up. So we travel, they do little events. And her and my stepdad had a group. We go to different churches and shit. All my brothers do music. I honestly tried to avoid it for quite some time because I didn't want to, like it was expected of me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm cool. A little burnout on it. Yeah, but then I needed an outlet other than, you know, crying and yelling at some point, that was what, two years ago. And I went in my room, I wrote my first song. And then, yeah. What was that, what was that first song? That song was called, Thank 
thinking. Yeah, thinking. I think no. Ooh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> It's on SoundCloud, but no, I don't remember the name of it, honestly. But you have since... Uh, I probably went like 20 minutes. Jumped on, you know, the whole writing and making music since then. Yeah. So after after that, that's when I wrote Fuck You. And I wrote another rap, Don't Bite. Then I wrote my first pop song. And uh, yeah, that was called Alter Ego. That's that shit. But yeah, and then it just wrote from so there. it was writing in, in reference to stages in your life. Yeah, that's why I tell them, like, all my music, I've either done it, I'm doing it, or I'm about to do it. Oh, like, that's, so, yeah. I think I've, I, I'm, I'm literally a multiple personality, so, I mean, my lifestyle's kind of jumped around so are a you little tr- bit. you trying to sprinkle in a little in each bucket type of thing? Yeah, my I got major mood swings, so it's like whenever I'm in a certain type of mood, I'm trying to, yeah, I just. Jump on it. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, though. Because a lot of artists, I feel like, have to go into that. Um, if we want to branch it off to a little bit of like acting, and in a way, like method acting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, a lot of actors really hone in on their acting skills, and it takes some times, months, even years to kind of accept a character. And for you, you can just like jump into it, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I appreciate At least that. We could yeah. see that in your music. Thank you, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had a um, I had a show. I had my first twenty minute set last weekend. And I told everybody, I'm like, y'all about to see a lot of mood changes. <laughs> Just brace yourself. Nice. So, yeah. I didn't want to offend you with my question in reference to your name. Oh, no, I'm very open minded. You can ask me anything. So I was I was saying, like. On the kid aspect of it, like, I am a child. Right. <laughs> <I'm hard. laughs> I mean, I take care of my grown up shit, but, you know, right. I'm just, that's just my personality. Yeah, yeah, I think that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And on the unorthodox side, that kind of explains what we were just talking about, where like you trickle onto different genres of music. Yeah, I do a lot. It's not expected mm-hmm. of me that you yeah. wouldn't traditionally expect. Yeah. But, you know, that's all right. Like I, like I was saying before, you know, in live performances in general, you have other, a bunch of artists that kind of change uh, outfits or, hey, we're setting the tone here with this performance type of thing. And so for you, you can take your whole archive and have a 20 minute set of, wow, what did we just experience? Because that was that was something great. Thanks, man. You know what I mean? Because, again, it all comes through your music because I have yet to see you perform, which we're looking forward to. Right. Oh, bet. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. we're gonna have a swell time. We're <laughs> talking about crash out. Yeah. Where did that? Where did that come Man, because in all honesty, so there, I've had like my second experience of a grown up being weird to me on this scene about a month ago, and it hurt my feelings so bad. Like I was not myself for two weeks straight. I'm like, I'm on bullshit. I'm on trash. Fuck all y'all. And then my mom was like, that's not okay. So I was like, all right. So I just wrote a song instead, and now I'm fine. Hey, you know, <laughs> that's a way of expressing stuff like that. But that's some, but, that's some bullshit out there. Get it all out. Yeah. This industry yeah, is... Uh, it. It's yeah. right out here. Yeah. I'll mm. be stressed. Man. Yeah, that's why you keep buddy with you, huh? For sure. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We getting there. Backpack <laughs> family. Yeah. That's what's up. You want to talk a little bit about the backpack family? Take a look at the backpack. So, like, we've named him Mowgli. That just happened like 10 minutes ago. It did. I like it. I think he... Mr. Mowgli. Yeah, Mowgli. You got to say it with an accent. His name is Mowgli. (laughs) Mowgli, Mr. Mowgli. Oh, no, his name was Money Mowgli. Money Mowgli. Money Money Mowgli. (laughs) I love it here. But yeah, um, so these came in at my job. I work at City Trains, oh. Fashion for Less. Any whore. Uh, yeah, shout so. out. I think that was a shout <laughs> out. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> but yeah, we got these in at work the other day, and I guess they only sent us one at the time. So my boss, I wasn't in. She was set it aside for me. Then another coworker came in. I guess she bought it and stayed like that to chase around the store type shit. I'm like, oh, okay. And then another one came, and I got it. And I looked these up. And these hoes are like 90 to 110 type shit. And I got it in myself for $20. Oh, shit. I was like, that was dope. And like the brand, I think it's Sprayground. Everything they make is limited edition. 
Oh, that's what's so up. So I was yeah. like, I like those limited uh, editions. Yeah, facts. Oh, I was very excited. It looks very limited, too. It does. It looks like me. So, like. Oh, it does. I was like, did you go to Build-A-Bear and customize that shit? Me? Oh, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Like, hey, they don't have that in Build-A-Bear, so. That part. If that's what we be seeing, that's <laughs> sweet shit. But yeah, this is my shit. I got four of them so far. Make oh, sure right. you say the money when you say Mowgli. Money Mowgli. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as being a local artist goes, where do you, where are you trying to be? Now, to be 110% honest with you, I have not thought that far ahead. I kind of just go as I go. I know for a fact, though, like my whole life, I'll pick something up real heavy. I know how to do so much shit because I pick something up real heavy for a few months then I get bored and I drop it. You know what I'm saying? Then right. I move to the next thing. But this is literally the most consistent I've been with anything in my life. And I love it. Like when I'm performing, that's the only time I 100 percent feel grounded. And that's my outlet. Right. Like I have to do it at least once a week or I like tweak. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's how you express your emotion, like you were saying before, and yeah. and with you being able to uh, diversify the tone of your voice and like the genres that you're in, maybe that's why you feel like you're not just fixated on one thing because you can like bounce that's back what and I was forth. Thinking too. Like you, know you can I mean? never get bored with this shit. Right, you can right. make your own shit when you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and, there, yeah. and there's so many people in the industry that has changed throughout where they started from and where Man. they are today. Doja Cat being one of them. Coyle Ray, why does nobody talk about that? Mm -hmm. Damn. I, man, when I see first seen her post a picture in a dress, I almost cried. Because I was like, I thought she was one of us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you go come back? I think that's one of the main things that would honestly keep me from wanting to get signed. Because the way shit goes, I feel like they would expect a certain type of sound from me. Like consistently, I wouldn't right. be able to you know, and that would, that would stress me out. <laughs> the expectations get higher yeah. and that box gets smaller. Facts. Like sure. I can handle the pressure, but I, I can't, I can't feel confined. Yeah. So I you can't. Keep doing what you do. Yeah. So are you looking to do shows? Yeah, of course. Nice. All the time. Cause that's me, like you were just saying, I guess that makes you feel good and stuff like that going out and doing that thing. Yeah. And I had my first headlining show a couple weeks ago. I'm like, I just made over a hundred dollars doing something I love doing. And I was like, that's dope as fuck. Yeah. It made me never want to work again. <laughs> like, right. Getting a little taste of that. Yeah, you know I could mean? really Working get addicted yourself. to this shit. More yeah. Facts. Facts. That's what's up. You want to talk about some engineers you work with? Um, I work with his name's Max Sauce. Uh, you Shout know. out Max Sauce. <laughs> uh, there's a, he's part of a duo, actually, Mac and Trippy. Yeah. They are the hood rat hippies. Ooh. That's my guys. Shout out red hood rat. I've worked with Big Homie Loyal. Um, I've worked with Kells. Kells did it again. He's in Canton. That's my dad. And oh. then, yeah, that's that's it. Right on. That's it. Who did the work for the to die for? That was Mac. That was Mac. Yes, that was Mac. Very proud. That was a great time. <laughs> I lied. Oh. What? I'm sorry. Uh, there's Sir Dropout. R.I.P. That was actually my very first engineer. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Sir Dropout. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then, so then, take us back. Then, so Sir Dropout. He did my first three songs. And that was the ones that you named before. No, uh, he did. It was called Evolution. That's what that was called. Actually, my dad did that. No, I recorded with him at first, and then my dad did it. But yeah, so he did Evolution. He did Fuck You, and he did uh, this song I have with Tinkerberries, Don't Bite. And then yeah, that's what he did. Nice. Yeah. Uh, cool dude. How, do you have any features? Are you featured? Or uh, I, I'm, I'm featured on an artist called AP Robbie. I'm on one of his songs. Um, as far as people feature with me, there's Matt, uh, Young Mac Town. That's where you can find him. So, Young so, Mac yeah, Town. Young Mac Town. Yeah. All right. So, um, Max on a feature. Got Tinkerberries on a feature. And Big Homie Loyal. Is on one of my songs as well. And then AP Robbie is on one of my songs as well. And yeah. Nice. It sounds pretty well rounded. It is for the yeah. most part. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah, a great yeah. time. <laughs> so when you talk about Crash Out, is that the song that you're pushing as far as the lane that you're going down? Or are we going to hear more 
and more unorthodox for me. You will definitely hear more and more unorthodox. Yeah. Um, I'm planning on doing a uh, crash out. It gives me like a fall time vibe, honestly. I don't know. That's just the vision I have in my head when I think about it. Maybe in the summer type shit. But um, yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit to drop that one. But uh, yeah, that's my first Rage song. Nice. I like that one. Is that the song that uh, you're going to do a live performance for us? Yes. Is that the song that you're going to do for us? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. We can't wait for that. Yeah, me too. Tap in for that, for sure. <laughs> you better. Um, I was going to say, <clears throat> as a young artist, uh, what kind of pressures are you facing or are you under? Is it more on the music side, making music, making this type of music? Or... It's the Booking people. Shows, the people. That's my only issue, literally, is the people. But it's select people. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It just yeah. be like, there's just a little. The one that ruins it for everybody, but, of course. <laughs> you know, that's everywhere you go, though. Right for you. Yeah. You, know, you making people, you make music for the people who your music for. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning people, period. I was just in a relationship for like eight, nine years. I was like in the house at all times. I'll go out every now and then, but I was only really allowed to go to the gay club. And even that was a problem. So yeah, I'm just now getting to be you. Getting act, yeah. And getting active outside. And I'm an adult now. I got in that relationship when I was 15, 16, you mm -hmm. know? So now I'm an adult and now I'm around other adults. And I honestly be quite baffled at some of the behavior. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's what's dope for your style. Mm -hmm. I mean, being on like the doc that you hit all of those different projects. Because even when I listen to your music, like when I went through your track list, I'm like, all right, she went there. Then I'm like, all right, she went there. And it was totally different vibes that I got from the music, but it was good music. So I was like, oh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. Um, definitely got the same vibes. That's what we were just talking about before you got here as well. Um, and we were very curious about what genre you would call it because it it is very well rounded or mashup friendly. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So, what do you think your biggest motivation is as far as like getting to the next level or going where you're wanting to go? Whenever you decide there's a place where you want them to go with it. I don't know depression shit, but like, nigga, I ain't want to be alive at all. And like, I have something I found that I genuinely love to do, you know? Yeah. So I'm like trying to milk the fuck out that shit. Right, right, right. Because I love it here. <laughs> there you go. So that's it, really. You know, that's my motivation. too, because depression is real. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah some shit. I think that will sink your boat real fucking quick. The thing I always try to tell myself is emotions are temporary. You feel me? So I'm like sad as fuck right now. I'm ready to go out. But 10, 20 minutes later, I'm fine. Right. Even if it's just because I push the emotion down, I know I'm going to be, if I keep going, I'll be in a completely new headspace within the next few months. Yeah. I'm like, everything's going to be okay. It's hard right now, but that's that's just crucial to my growth type shit. So right. it's all a learning experience. You can never take anything and not look at it like it's only for you to do better the next time. Mm -hmm. And there so, will, there's always a next time too. Cause like facts. what you just said, not only is motions temporarily, but everything we do in life is temporary. You know, back in high school, we thought high, those four years were fucking everything, <laughs> but it, it's not, At all. you know what I mean? There's yeah. so much more. And so we go through these spurts of life, like this four years, that five years. And we feel like that is our life. Oh shit. I'm never going to get out of this. And then all of a sudden no. we get out and we're like, why the fuck do I even think that way? Thanks. Keep driving. Right. So everything Especially when you got something like what you got going right. on. It's a like, skill set to hone in. Don't into. stop. You mm. get it. You I'll be telling people, it. I'm like, go ahead and crash out. Do what you need to do to get that out the way. Just make sure you can put your vehicle back together. You feel me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, speaking of crash out, well, let's start. Uh, let's tap into that. Let's tap into that. Does that sound like a good crash out? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, looks like we're going to crash out here and uh, let's get that live performance going. This has been Cincy Local and Live, Randall Pink. Cincinnati Time. Money Mowgli, 
Lena Banner, the unorthodox kid. Tap in. I had to involve my toddler. Let's go. <laughs>